This is a quick introduction video for how ArcGIS Online can be used for search and rescue operations. We call this Maps Are Online. I'll just start with a simple example of searching for a missing person's last known location. I can search using the Azure World Geocoder, which would just be addresses and places, or in this case, I'd like to search against my own database. If the missing person went missing from this location, what I might like to do is begin to understand what's in the area. And I'll do this using a tool called the Situational Awareness Widget. Now I can find out what's in the immediate area, or I can buffer it. And this could be based off of lost person behavior statistics. In this case, I'll choose 10.5 miles. Now I can see this is a large area, but what I really want to know is what's, what's around me. So I can see here the number of trailheads and where they are, and I can download a spreadsheet of those if I need to pull them into a report or another application. There are eight potential cell towers within that radius, eight campgrounds. I can highlight all the different trails and roads. And then as additional information comes in, I'll be able to look at the status of those. Now, if I'd like, I can save this information. And by doing this, I'm saving the initial planning point where the person was last known to be and that statistical search area. In this case, I'll say 75% or 75% of our missing persons would be found within this distance. So I can go back and edit some of that information a bit later. What I'd like to do is show you how we can also download this data, print a quick report if we'd like, or create a snapshot, and that'll just capture all the information at this particular time and load it into another web map. So now that we've done a basic hasty plan, we can zoom into the initial planning point. And you'll see, because this is ArcGIS Online, I can add a wide variety of different base data sets and in this case, I've added a minimum essential data set for the National Park. I can immediately begin doing some hasty tasks using this edit tool. Now, I'd like to add some polygons to the map, but first, it'd be best to choose another base map. This one doesn't have enough detail for me. I can choose from a wide variety of base maps including our familiar USGS topographic maps and even the imagery hybrid map. So I can see some of the more detailed information in this area. I begin doing a quick hasty assignment. So there's lots of different options here of things I can edit, but if I want to just search for it, I can search for the word assignment. Now, with this editing tool, I can draw a polygon simply by clicking on the map or choose from other options like freehand. This will allow me to click and hold down the mouse to simply draw a more detailed area. Now I'm doing this quickly, so I want to get teams out in the door, and we can clean this up later. We've created our first hasty assignment. Again, all of this information can be filled out later, but I'd like to mark this one as high priority. I'd like to assign it to a ground team. I'd like to add a quick safety note. I'm done editing, I just close the tool. There are a lot of other capabilities that we'll explore together on Maps R Online, including the ability to print basic maps, do some measurements. If we're working with other search and rescue teams, we may want to be able to add US National Grid and your more basic GIS or web mapping functions like showing a legend of what's on the map 
turning layers on and off. But we'll also explore where to find some of these base data sets in ArcGIS Online. Base maps, as you saw before, sharing the map, which includes some great options like you can simply share it with this link, or you can decide how you want to share it, including sharing it to a specific point of interest, which could be a clue. So when they open the map, it takes them straight to what you're seeing. You can leverage bookmarks that are created in the web map or create our own. And we can even add data. And this is really important because it allows me to search across ArcGIS Online and just add some quick layers to my map. And perhaps I can have my GIS team help me to um, add those layers to our web map for permanent use. But I can also add files directly to my map. And this is important. For instance, if I would like to add a GPX file, I can add it to my map temporarily, just to get a quick visual, or I can use some of the same tools you saw before. I can click on this GPX track, set it as my location for my situation awareness, and if I'd like, I can save it as a route and then it will be stored in my database. So now even if I refresh the map, that'll be stored because now I've chosen it to be saved as an assignment or a, a route. So I think this is some really powerful capabilities. We're just starting to explore this now. And Web App Builder, which is the application this is built on, is a highly configurable application that allows me to make this as uh, powerful or as simple as I'd like.